Hi, Sarita. Good afternoon. Good night, Sarita. Good night, Sarita. How are you, girl? Hi, Gabby. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, teacher. Hi, now. Hi, Edwin. Hey, Hi, Edwin. Long time we don't see you. I'm so happy. Yeah, we have Daniela as well. We have Gabby and we have Sarita. Woohoo! Good evening, teacher. How are you guys doing? So far, so good? Yeah? Good. 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 Yeah, I'm so happy to hear that, Roxy. What about you, Sarita? You're good, right? What about you, Roxy? Hi, teacher. Hey, how are you, girl? Good, good evening. Good evening. It's been a pleasure to have you back. Yeah, I like the color of your blouse, girl. Woo <laughs> yeah. Are you preparing for a date? Ah. I'm just, I, no, I'm just kidding. Are, are you preparing for a date? Preparing. Preparing. Preparing for a date. Do you understand what I'm asking you? No. Te estás preparando para una cita. Are you preparing for a date? Ah, for a date. <laughs> for a date? <laughs> like, ooh. Look at Sarita. She's no, like, no. <laughs> no, no, I don't. <laughs> romantic date. Oh, yeah. No, I'm just asking. Come on. <laughs> yeah, but because she looks so gorgeous with that color of your blouse. I like it. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Maximiliano. Hi. Elwin, how are you? Have you gone by any chance to the beach again, Elwin? I'm just asking. <laughs> Not really. Not really. Uh, where are you planning to go? So we can go with you. Uh, I don't know, yeah, but no idea. I have no idea, yeah. Uh, but you have to let us know, okay? All right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. send you a picture. <laughs> hey, 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 according to that, you're supposed to send us a picture. So what happened with the other pictures? Huh? Now, come on. Uh-huh. You forgot, right, guys? You forgot. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you have a good day today. I'm so happy. And today we're going to talk about really things, interesting things. But let me ask you something. Oh, yes. May I ask you guys, what is the favorite way for you to cook meal? Do you have any special way to cook the meal or no? Hello? No. No? No? Oh, yes. Yes or no? Do you like to cook it a uh, boil it? Do you like to grill? Do you like to steam? I like prepare the food in the refrigerator. Grill, the grill. Okay. Do you like fried food or no? Not really. Yes. Yeah? All right. What is your favorite food of the of the of the, the dish that you said? Mm, well, it's not that I made it, but um, it is delicious. It's delicious. So which is the your favorite dish? Or the one that you consider that you prepare really well? Well, my favorite uh, dishes, dishes is uh, lasagna, but I oh. can but I can prepare. You can't prepare it. Why not? I when I when I want to eat, I I buy in the, in the restaurant oh but there is something that you wish you could you could learn how to do it i would like to to, to prepare but i don't know hey, it's you difficult. Can... I my... <laughs> no it's not only that you have to like find a good uh, lasagna pasta and follow the instructions um, you gotta be patient <laughs> yeah, you should have like a, you cannot okay. prepare in a microwave. You need to like prepare in a regular oven, a conventional oh. oven. Mm -hmm. okay. But it's really delicious. Who knows how to prepare a lasagna that you can teach Roxy? 
Edwin. I can. I think Jenny. it's too easy. Uh, okay, Jenny, Jenny, please show us your picture. Don't before, worry, they're a disaster. I That's all. Okay. Like Rosy, I hope that it was too difficult, but now I know that it's too easy. Just like you say, you just have to follow the instruction. And I prepared in the oven for, from the kitchen. Really? Yes. And how was it? Did you prepare? It was a, it was a chicken lasagna. A no, meat I prefer lasagna, cheese uh, one? meat. Meat. Meat with like I I forget uh, hongos. Shrimps. No, sorry, mushrooms. Uh, mushrooms. mushrooms. Yes. Mushroom. No, no mushu because mushu is the pal of Mulan. <laughs> remember mushu. yes i remember yeah, yeah it's mushrooms okay mushroom. <laughs> and i was like and, and you know what i love that because i love mulan by heart and i have a, a, a neighbor who has a doggy and the doggy's name is mushu mushu, mushu yeah. yeah it's really nice because it's a baby pitbull Oh, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So remember, Jennifer, it's not mushu, right? It's mushroom. Okay. <laughs> mushroom. Mushroom. <laughs> yeah. All righty. Very good. Anybody else? Yes, Elwin. No mushu. Mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> because I saw it was like. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Excellent. You see, everybody's smiling. Hey, King Sarita, what about you? What is the favorite dish that you can make? My so for the favorite? Pata, I don't know. No. Yeah. It is. Beef soup. Mm, it's delicious. How yes. do you prepare it? Yes, it's delicious, Jenny. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. My husband loves it. I think every week we have a beef soup for lunchtime. Mm. He knows how to prepare it. He's a chef. No, well, he's not a chef as a profession, but he's doing his best. <laughs> <laughs> so how you do you prepare beef soup? Do. Yes, yeah, Jenny. Like... How do you prepare it, Sarita? How do you prepare the, the beef soup? Can you give us your recipe? Sarita, turn on your microphone. Your microphone is off. <laughs> Perdón. Excuse me. I'm sorry, con excuse me, pardon me. <laughs> is in the rece uh, receta de la familia? Is in your family recipe? Yes. Hmm? Uh -huh. My mother prepared uh, the soap and I, I am, see? Uh -huh. You watch the preparation, the ingredients. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes. So you have everything here in my memory, in your mind. Yes. Oh, okay, yes. guys. Sorry, but this is family top secret recipe. So Sarita is not going to give us the recipe. No. Sorry for that. <laughs> Hopefully, Jenny, we can try Sarita's recipe once. <laughs> okay yeah you know what yeah. i had one student um, i think it was two or three models ago and who also gave me um a recipe about a red bean soup but he but he added like a uh, lorocco to the soap yes jenny i was like are you sure? This is strange. yeah because i had just uh, tried lorocco in hand soup and chicken soup right but yeah, yeah. no, no in, in red beans, but you know what? He said, teacher, try it on, try it on. And I'm like, okay, I was crossing my finger. Hopefully my husband loves it. Okay, so we'll try it. And, and I put La Rocco, and you, you cannot imagine, it tastes really good. Really? Yes, delicious. yeah. Since then, I add La Rocco to the red bean soup. <laughs> Yeah, it's really, really nice. And also, you know what? Also in the beef soup, I had tried a beef soup with Loroco as well. Wow, it's nice. It's really delicious. Yeah, you should try it. Well, I love Loroco by heart. I love it. Me I know too. That, yeah, not all the people like with it. Eggs. Yes. Or pupusa. Oh, <laughs> yes. Is. Yes. You know, my, my, my sister loves Lorocco, like grill it, like and fried it. She chop a tomato, onion, 
the Loraco and I think Chile. Yeah, she chopped everything. And then when everything is like well cooked, she add a little mm -hmm. bit of cream, sour cream. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, that is delicious. And she just uh, roasted a tortilla. <laughs> a grill and a tortilla uh -huh. depends. And what she likes is like doing like this, chuponear. Uh -huh. that, oh my god, it's, it's really nice. Like the bread with the coffee. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Jane. Exactly the same way. And it was like, what these girls are talking about? Like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, when if you haven't had your dinner, may I apologize for that. Hopefully you did. <laughs> oh, yeah, you did? No, I <gasps> I'm sorry, everyone. we're talking about food. Ooh, <laughs> nice. Okay, very good. So, guys, so I know that we're enough talking about food because if not poor Elwin, he's gonna have a gastro problem because of us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All righty. So welcome to the class. I have Gabby here, Garcia, Jose Guzman, Jose. Jose is gonna show another part of his room today, hopefully. We have now, <laughs> we have Danny here. And Liz, Saul, uh, Rainer, yeah, Glendy, very good. All righty, guys, we have been talking yesterday. Remember this week we have been talking about gestures, feelings, models, and adverse to show that. Hopefully, guys, let me ask you. I, this is like a friendly reminder, like a review. How do you say, uh, what is the, the gesture that you can do when you um you don't know what does it mean something hey oh my god everybody's paying attention please don't worry one of the time i know that everybody wants to participate but hold your horses hold your horses and roxy what happened to you she turned it off the camera I don't know why. <laughs> right, Sarita? <laughs> uh, uh -huh. Elwin, do me a favor. How do you say this in English? How do you remember, guys? Twirling. 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 Uh -huh. Your hair. The hair, yeah. The hair. What about this? And I remember that Sarita helped me. Beating. Beating Beating the nails. Beating the nails. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Rainer. What about this? Rolling your Rolling eyes. Your Rolling eyes. eyes. Remember, no adult, but adult can help you rolling in the deep, right? But rolling my eyes. Okay, very good. What about this? Um, Wrinkling your nose. Very good, Rainer. Oh my God. This guy has been in study a lot. All right, and when you're doing like this and you're clap clapping on the foot, tapping your shoes, tapping your shoes, tapping, tapping, not taping, not remember? taping, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, tapping, tapping, like the tap, right, like the dance. Okay, tapping the foot, very good. Mm. And what about this? Scratching your head. It's scratching, no, crashing, 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 crashing. Yes. Very good, excellent. All right. Excellent. So we have learned that um, we, are, we can use adverbs and models to describe gestures and feelings. Right now, guys, also in, in yesterday, we saw like a different pictures about different signs, right? The common signs, I think, or word signs that um, also we can guess what was the meaning of that. Today, guys, I'm going to share another signs. But now we're going to talk about Another words that we can use, for example, if you would like to talk about giving or asking permission. Uh, also, when you're um, giving or saying that some, somebody has an obligation to do something, or when you prohibit that somebody do something. Guys, let me ask you, uh, have you heard the word can yes can, right yes right yes. Well, most of the time is like um that is a more a, a verb a model verb right but sometimes it's a verb as well when somebody when you when you heard the word can what comes up to your mind 
talking about ability. Ability. Talking about ability, but also talking about permission. And permission. Okay. Yeah, depends. Depends how you use it. Very good. Also, there is another one. What about allowed? Allowed. Allowed. Have you heard the word allowed? Yes. Yeah. yeah. That means that you're so you can do it. But most of the time, because we are talking about people, this word, when you're talking about a person, you said you're allowed it. You're allowed it too. And that doesn't mean that it's in past. No, you're allowed. Allowed to. That means it's still está permitido. Está permitido. That's what it means. Allowed it too. What about guys when a, you there's a situation or an activity that you have to do it or you have to do it? That means there is no choice. Uh huh. You can use two expressions. You can use have to. Let me put it in a capital letter to have. You can use have to. But also there is another way that you can do it. And, and also you can do it in a contraction way, right? If you are making a contraction, you can use got to. Have to or got to or apostrophe V-E got to. There's two, these two expressions are when you are, when you have to do it, the action when it's obligated. And let me give it to you the last thing. I will give you an example of each of them. Don't worry about that. And of course, when you are not allowed to do something, is the word can't, right? Can't or not allowed to. Okay. So of course, there are more ways to say that the same things, guys. But there are a lot of vocabulary. But I want you guys to focus on the way that we can use these words of these expressions today. So let me give you an example for each of them. For example, can. Uh, 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 um, uh -huh. I'm going to send with you something. Some of the images that we saw yesterday, I'm going to send it to you right now. And we can use the word can in this one. Let me check right now really quick. There you go. Guys, if you see that picture, what is the message that is giving to you? What, what is that? Camp. The camp, exactly. So if there is a camp and there is nothing is crushed on that picture, what does it mean? That you can come. Exactly. So you see, we can use the word can. You can camp here, right? If you see that, if you do that, mm -hmm. very good. Or also, if for example, uh, uh huh. Let me see if I can give you another one. What about this one? Let me see. If you, if you see this one, how can we use the word allowed? You're allowed. Uh huh. If you see that picture of a of a dog, it could be a dog, it could be a cat, whatever, in a restaurant. What does it mean? Can you bring your dog, or you cannot? Yes. Yes, you can, right? So you can yes. also say you can, or also you said you're allowed to bring your pet. Yeah. Okay. What about, guys, the second example, obligation? Mm -hmm. 
let me give you one example here of one of the pictures that also we saw yesterday, but it's really important to refresh it. What about this? When you saw that picture, uh -huh. can you enter in a place with your shoes? No, it's not. No, right? Oh. Because if you want to enter in a place with your shoes, you need to take out your shoes. That means that it's an obligation for you. You have to or you've got to. Okay? There is no other way. If you want to enter, right? If you don't want to enter, right? So you see that one? You see this one? I'm going to... I'm gonna send it to you right now. The sentence, very good. Okay, let me give you the sentence here. You've got to take off your shoes. For example, guys, and um, right now, due to a quarantine, we, we mm -hmm. have uh, two pair of shoes, right? The one that we use inside our house, but the one that we use if you want to walk, go walking, or if you have to do your groceries, right? You want to go to the bank, etc. May I ask you, do you use the same shoes that you were using outside to get into your house? No. Do you understand, Roxy? Yes, but I... I oh. I don't know. I don't know. No, it's, it, it's an example. It's an example. It, no, why not? During Jennifer? the pandemic, you need to put another shoes when you enter to your house. Exactly. Because, mm -hmm. And and with my mother, we uh we watched we watch watch uh, uh, soap opera mm -hmm. of, of Turkey Turkey oh, soap mm -hmm. opera and they put another shoot when they enter to their house mm -hmm. because it's a custom yeah for it's part them. of their culture mm -hmm. like but japanese for, people for pandemic is for for custom yes exactly for example but i don't know why there's you know what it, basically there are some cultures that they have do, that um that behavior if we can say that and it is really healthy one because they avoid yeah. to bring bacteria and all those stuff in their house. So I, I, they have been doing that for such a long time, like Japanese people, Korean people, Chinese people, Arabic people, ooh, yes. It's but, not, I, I think it's, it's related to the religion, but, but not. No, it's, it's not. about the bacteria, bacteria? Yes, it's about their culture. And, and now it's something that here in Latin America, we are putting in practice. And, and why? Because of the pandemic, right? Yeah. But for example, if you saw, if you arrive to one of your friend's house, imagine, and you, and you see that shoes with a scratch, what does it mean? If you want to enter to your, to your family or your friend's house, no. you have to take off your shoes, you right? You have to take off your shoes, Exactly. Yes. So you see, there's no other way. So that means that there is an obligation to do it. What about guys? Mm, let me give you another example. The last example. Mm, 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 okay. Let me give you this. <laughs> this is brand new. Let me see. There you go. I'm gonna send it to you right now. What about guys? If you see that little image on a library. <laughs> what does it mean? You can't use earphones. You can't use earphones. <laughs> exactly. Why not? Because you cannot listen to music in a library, right? Yeah. Exactly. So you see, guys, how we can use those words if it depends on what you're trying to say, if you're trying to ask for permission or give permission, obligation, or 
for example, if you would like also to, to allow some people to do some activities or not. So let me ask you something. Let me give you guys um, some images here. And then I will give you some possible, some possible meanings. Okay, take a look. I will give it to you from A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. And then I will give it to you uh, 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 um, some possible meanings from one to eight. That means that eight images, eight sentences. And I want you guys to let me know which one belongs to which one. For example, number one belongs to image numbers, number letter A and so on. You have it? A teacher, do you show the picture on the on the WhatsApp? Yes. Group? Is it there? Oh, sorry, but I don't have my cell phone with me because my mother, uh, my mother, have my cell phone. Ah, your mother has your cell phone. Come on. Yeah. Ay, mommy. All right, don't worry about that. Okay, so let me share in my screen. Okay, don't worry. Okay. Okay, guys, can you see it? Yeah? Yes. Okay, cool. You can see. Okay, very good. So we have possible, you here on the left side, we have one eight to eight sentences with possible meaning, guys. And from A to H, images. So may I ask you, letter A, what could possible mean? You can find the information on the left side. What do you think it could mean? Not eating or drinking in the classroom. Uh-huh. So are we allowed or we're not allowed? Not allowed. Uh -huh. Give me the complete sentence, please, Jenny. Just read the number two. Yeah. Ah, not eating or drinking in the classroom. Very good. Excellent. What about letter B? Letter B. Uh huh. What do you think? Around the lie when leaving. Uh huh. Very good. Okay. But it is something that you have to do it, or is something that is depends on you. So you have no, to turn you it off. You have to. You have Very to. good. You have to. You have to. That's right. What about letter C? Letter C. Uh huh. We're no listen, no listen, no listen to music. Exactly. So you can, right? You're not allowed to. Very good. No listen to music. What about letter D? As in David. Keep the classroom door closed. Door closed. Uh -huh. It is a uh, obligation. It is a uh, prohibition or it's a permission. What do you think? It's an obligation. It's an obligation. obligation. So you, you can say you have to or you oh, have yeah. to. You got to. Very good. Okay, so with number four, we're good. What about letter E as in echo? Letter E. No cell phone. It's um are you allowed to use cell phones? No. Allowed. Are you allowed or not? Not yes. allowed. Not allowed. You're not allowed. allowed. Okay. You're not allowed for, to use the cell phone. Okay, no cell phones. Very good. Yeah, what about allowed. letter F as in Frank? F. Your bike is a permission. Uh -huh. Is permission or is obligation? Permission. No, permission. permission. Obligation. obligation. Yes. Obli oh, it's obligation. Yes, obligation. You have to. Because if not, what happened, Roxy? When, when you came back, your bike will disappear. Especially here in El Salvador, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that is, you have to do it, no matter what. If you want, in the supermarket, want... there are uh -huh. a, a, a place that you put your bicycle. <laughs> exactly. Yes. If, if not, you you want to uh, find your bike when you come back. So, okay. What about letter G? A single. Crashing the bus. So there is something that you're allowed to. You can. You have to. 
You can't. You have. You have to. You have to what? Throw the trash into the wastebasket, right? Right, very good. What about the last one? Letter H is in hotel. No playing in the hallway. Uh -huh. no, playing. no playing. That means that you are allowed to, you don't have to, or is an obligation? It's an obligation. Mm -hmm. So which one you have to use? Can, allow, can't, not allowed to, have to, or got to? What do you think? Which ones? Exactly. You have not, or, or you're not allowed to, right? Very good, guys. Excellent job. So now I want to you to think about something. And uh, 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 take a look at this. We have airline, library, museum, theater bus or subway and at work this is what i want you to do i want to I, wa I want you to, i want your help on this okay, we are 13 with me that means that we are 12. so this is what i'm gonna do i am going to write it down right now for you some areas or sore places that most of the time guys we have our rules to follow, okay? For example, museum, library, airplane, what else? What else, what else, what else? Uh-huh, work, right? Work, we have one, two, three, four, Okay, I'm missing two, two more. Check. Uh, 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 uh. Ah, bus. Bus or microbus. Bus or microbus. We don't have subway here, right? Okay, so, and there's no train. So it's bus or microbus. Microbus. And I'm missing one. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, because it got a bit six here. Check. That's cool. And yeah. We can put it to school. Why not? Okay. But we already grown up. So I think <laughs> I'm, going, uh, I'm going to use an, uh, another one. All right, guys. So this is what I want you to do. I'm going to put in pairs right now. And each of you have to give it to me. Oh, rules things that you can do or you're allowed to do things that you have to do or you got to them is an obligation and things okay. that you can't or you're not allowed to do in these places but everybody will work in a different scenario okay so uh, 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 let me check i'm going to put it right now mm, i'm going to create pairs okay so everybody will work with a different one. This time, I'm going to do it manually. So let me check. Mm -hmm. and, 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 Roxy, uh, you're going to work with Elwin. Sorry, Elwin. <laughs> and guys, I want you to think about a museum. Museum rules, okay? Something that you're allowed to, that you can, something that you have to, or you got to as an obligation, and something that you can't, and you're not allowed to, right? It's a prohibition. So I, I, I want you to give me three things. You understand what you're gonna do? Roxy and Elwin, do you understand? Yeah? Yep. Okay, cool. Let me check. Glendy, you're going to work with Maximiliano. Maximiliano. Yes, with Maximiliano. And you're going to talk about airplane. 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 Yes. 
Okay. And let me check oh, on an airplane, right? The rules for an airplane. Something that you can do, something you cannot do, and something that you have to do. Okay. I want rules for each of them. Okay. Using the words okay. that we have learned. Can, allowed, can't, not allowed, and how to and got to. Let me check. And... Okay, teacher. Okay, Jenny and Sarita. Jenny and Sarita, okay. you're going to work uh, on the library rules. Okay. Library. All right. Gabriela Garcia with Mr. Rayner. You're going to work on the microbus <laughs> rules. And let me check. Godofredo and Danny, you're going to work on the bus. And Jose and, Ray and Naomi, you're going to work. You're, you, I want you guys to give me rules for work. Okay? Okay, guys. Are you ready? I will give yes. you five minutes. After five minutes, we'll come back and we can share, okay? Okay. There you go. One dream, for example. Go to the bathroom. Uh huh. Um, and, and, okay. But we, yeah, I, I think we can drink a lot of, a lo we can drink a lot of. O sea, no podemos tomar demasiado. Me parece. Uh -huh. Is everybody working? Uh, Which? Yes. Is she sí. Yeah, Elwin and Roxy. Yes, yeah. yes teacher. Uh, yeah, but, but it's not or. I don't understand. Roxy. <laughs> well, I don't understand, Roxy. Okay, Roxy. But, yes, but uh, I I think only only with Edwin, but I share with we my have I have have the people. people. You, know what I have done that? you know what I have done that? But we are working. Yeah, you know who you have to work with, is that right? <laughs> yes, teacher. Uh -huh. and, and why it's I have family. done that? Because not every time you will have the perfect scenario or the perfect environment that everybody will be quiet. No. But we work together. <laughs> and, uh -huh. So why I'm doing that? Because you, you have to learn how to concentrate on what you are doing. Doesn't matter if you have a lot of noise on the back. A lot of noises in the back. That's why they have done that. Okay. How do you it, it is something, guys, that you need to learn how to do it. 
Yeah. To try to concentrate on what you are doing. Okay. So that, that's okay. why I have done that. I'm a bad teacher sometimes. <laughs> and I'm a good teacher as well. Yeah, that is the mythology. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's why I have done that. So try to concentrate on what you're doing, guys. Okay. Who's, who Do your best. Need Linda, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, okay, Roxy, you Sarita. can talk with Elwin. Yes, Sarita, you are okay. with me. Okay. That is difficult because I know we speak. It's part of the process of learning. Speak at the same time. I know. <laughs> Imagine in a call center. Imagine in a call center that we that everybody's together. And imagine uh -huh. that you have your headset and you try to put attention to the customer, what is giving you information, and your agent or your coworker has a pretty loud voice that everybody can listen in the whole platform. And you try to oh focus on what you're doing. So I know. So I'm giving you this exercise because I want you to develop your skills. So try to do your best, okay? Okay. And I will come back. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hi, Sarita. Hi, Edwin. Hi, Roxy. <laughs> uh, we are going Hi, to talk Mike. about the museum, Sarita, right? we have to talk yeah, yeah. about what are okay. rules, right? Who On the museum, the I think... Sorry? Sarita? You can... Uh... Hola, Jennifer. <laughs> we have to talk about the library. <laughs> It's too funny. Tell me, Edwin, uh, one rule for the yeah. one rule for the library. Yes. This is so much fun, right, guys? Yes. <laughs> Do your best. Don't worry. Do your best, okay? Tell me one rule, Sarita, for the library. In the library, um, not este, listen to music. Okay. You can uh, take a picture and on the you museum. Can you cannot. In the library, you can talk aloud. Yes, so it's one, well, right? You can, you can take a picture. You cannot. You cannot eat on the library. Take a picture, right? Is it right? No, no, I, I can, I not can, I can, I, oh, can I can drink in the library. I can drink. I okay. can drink. You can drink. Okay. Another uh, in the museum, you can eat and drink. Another on the library. I don't know, Edwin. You can. Tell me. Use all the books, maybe. <laughs> yeah, what is this it's in Spanish? Museum. Museum. Uh -huh. Museum. Museum. Uh, Another one. Right, right. Another. Uh, you can. I can. I, I, I can. I can listen to you. <laughs> you can listen yeah. to me. No, earphone uh, in the, in the, in the library. Sorry, you have I to can, take. I you can. have to take notes. Because it's a museum and it's for your homework, probably. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Can you can you can eat and drink. Um, you can. You can not use your cell phone, maybe on the library. The the library. 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 Finish? Okay. Yes, I can. <laughs> Finish. Whatever you have, guys. Whatever you have. It's complicated, right? Yes. yes. Uh, hey, everybody talking. At the, <laughs> At the yes. same time. It, 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 it is complicated. Hey, uh, you cannot say, for example, shh. Hey, I tried to <laughs> listen to the customer. Please load your phone. <laughs> you cannot say that. So can you imagine being more than a hundred agents or 12, 200 agents on a platform talking at the same time? So there's, this is the listening skill. The listening I skill am. is something that you need to develop. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so that's why I gave you that exercise, not to make you suffer, <laughs> but to help you, like not all the time, guys, when you're doing your things, not all the time you will have the perfect environment and the perfect scenario. 
So you need to get used to like to focus on what you're doing or what mm -hmm. you're saying and what you're thinking. That's why I, I did that. I'm a bad teacher sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you. you're more than welcome, Elwin. Anytime, anytime. <laughs> All righty. So Sarita and Jenny, I know that you were talking about library, right? Tell me something that you can do, yes. that you're allowed to do, that you can do. You can do. For example, you can use all the books, maybe. You, you can use all the books. Yeah, very good. Something that you cannot do. The library. Sarita? Something that is prohibited. Que no está, que está permitido en una, eh, eh, perdón, prohibido in a library. In, in the cell phone. Uh -huh. You can or you, you can, can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. Exactly. You can't. You can't. You can't about, exactly. What about obligation in a library? Obligation? You have to return the book that you use, maybe. Exactly. Or you have to be quiet. Mm, quiet. Quiet. Very good. Excellent. Thank you so much. Very good, guys. What about Roxy and Elwin? Museum. What do you have for us? Uh, you can take a, a note. You can take notes. Very about good. You, you, you see? Exactly. And Something that you, you can't do. You can't you drink can, or, or eat. What? What happened? You cannot. You cannot drink or eat. You cannot drink or eat. Yeah, there's uh, in the museum, there's some area that you can, right? Yeah. Like in the cafeteria, I think most of the museums have a cafeteria, but um, right, but in the in the area where it's like the sculptures, the paintings, and all those stuffs, you can't. Yeah, right. You're right about that. What about an obligation, guys? Obligation. Something that is that you don't have choice in a museum. Yeah, yeah. You you only have permit to see only. Them don't touch. Uh-huh. What about this? Come on. Can you take a pictures? What do you think, guys? Probably not. Probably not, right? So yeah. you have to avoid taking pictures. Have to avoid. Mm-hmm. Very good. All right, I think Maximiliano, thank you guys. Maximiliano and Glendy, they talk about uh, work, right? Or no? In airplanes. Which one? Airplane. Airplanes. Airplanes. airplanes, okay, tell us something that you're allowed to do on an airplane. Okay, you can eat and drink. Of you course. You can go to the bathroom. <laughs> There's a lot of things, right? You can talk with your okay. neighbor, like, hey, how are you, where are you going? Uh -huh. Very and good. Something that an, is an obligation. An obligation? Uh, uh, you have to use the seat belt. You have to use the seat belts. What else? What if, uh, an obligation is, ah, uh, you can't smoke. You can't. Can't smoke, sorry. Yes, you can't okay. smoke. Yeah, there's and, like, is a uh, prohibition. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we, we, we can or you can drink a lot of. Uh-huh, yes, uh -huh. very but, good. But, but, but something, the ticket is include one one drinking. Ah, uh, sometimes, or, yes. Sometimes, yeah, but a lot of it is not possible. No, it's not, table, you have to pay. Like <laughs> <laughs> very good. Something okay. that uh, is an obligation nowadays to do a quarantine, you got to use your mask. Uh -huh. Yes. Right? I There's a lot of noise on the on, on Max. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Very good. Thank you so much, Glendy and Max. What about Jose? Jose, who do you work with? Jose. Jose, where are you? <laughs> hey, where have you I been, can... my friend? Jose, Jose, I think Jose worked with uh, Danny or Naomi or Rainer, I think so. With Gabriela? With Gabby, right? 
Jose or Gabby, are you still here? Houston, do we have a problem here with these guys? <laughs> Gabby, Garcia. Hello, teacher. Who do you work with? ¿Con quién trabajaste? Who do you work with? Rainer. 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 Okay, Mr. Rainer. So, do you talk about work, right, or no? Which one do you work? Uh, microbus. Microbuses. Okay. Give me a rule for a microbus. Something that you can do. That you permit it. Uh, you have to keep it on microbus. Ah, that is an obligation. Okay. What about something that you can do that is that is permitted that is allowed? Lo que puedes hacer en un microbus, something that you can do it. You you can you can eat in the bus? Yeah, you can eat in the bus. That's nice, right? Something that you cannot do it, prohibit. You're not allowed to. No tienes permiso. You're not allowed to. He do not allow to stick your head out. Oh yes, because if, imagine that you pass next to a a tree, like right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, you know what? That had happens. That had happens, and I saw it. And that was horrible. That you cannot imagine. So you need to be very careful. And that and that had happened with a kid. No, that was not good. Uh, Rainer, do you have any other sentences that you can share with us? Yes, uh, I ahead, sir. think uh, you are not allowed to smoke on microbus. Uh-huh, very good. What else? Uh, another one is you have to keep seat on microbus. Yes. And the last one, something that you can do? You can do. Um, you can eat on microbus. I that same of Gabby invent another one, please. <laughs> you can drink, me vas a decir. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you can, you can like, talk on microbus. Yes, but not in El Salvador. <laughs> or <It> depends <laughs> which microbus you are right now, right? Because it's the, if you're in a 101D, the 44, <laughs> you better be careful with your cell phone. Okay, Hopefully you yes, have an yes, old fashioned cell phone. You can right? use your cell phone, but, but uh, it's no guarantee that you, you that you have a back, right? Uh -huh. Someone yeah. steal your your cell phone. You know what? That's what I love in Costa Rica because in Costa Rica you can have your cell phone, your laptop, your tablet on on the micro on the micro bus, and nobody do anything. Oh. Yes. Really? Yes, really, for sure. I try it. I, I, yeah, you can have it. You can have it like your your tablet with you. You're working on it and nobody do anything to you. Okay. It's really safe. Really safe. It's really safe. But here in El Salvador, you cannot take your laptop with you on the bus, <laughs> no. right? Yes, you can, but you cannot open it. Because yes, as soon as yes. you open it, somebody like stole it, right? Mm -hmm. yes. yes, can you imagine that? It's totally different. Yeah. yeah. Okay, very good. Thank you, Rainer. What about mm -hmm. Naomi, Danny, and Jose? Where is Jose, by the way? Maybe he has problem with the internet, right? That could be the reason why. Danny, what about you? Are you still with us? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, but Danny, who do you work with? I didn't listen. I don't know. I didn't I don't listen know. to you. Maybe the Wi-Fi, internet, I don't know. Um, ah, that could be the reason. Okay, don't worry, Danny. You will always participate. Don't worry about that. Okay, okay do me, me a favor. Uh, think about rules or things that you can do, that you prohibit to do, or that you're obligated to do. For example, on a movie theater. Okay. Mm, I'm allowed to, to eat. Of course. The food that's absolutely mm -hmm. the, the theater. But yeah. you can't bring food for another place. Uh huh. Or you can't. You can't talk, uh, speak. Um, During what? You can use your cell phone. Uh huh. Especially when, when it's, the movie's already on, right? Already started. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What else? Something that you 
have to or you got to, that means that is an obligation. Mm -hmm. On a movie theater. <laughs> Obligation, I think it's the cell phone. The cell right. phone, yes, exactly. Yeah, the because they can distract, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that had happens to you guys, but I have been in a movie theater before the quarantine and I had somebody that was talking behind me. Talking, 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 laughing, laughing, laughing. And I couldn't pay attention to the movie. Do you like that? No, no I, I don't it. like it. All right, I hate it. I yeah, it's, imagine if you have seen Matrix and somebody's like talking, 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 talking. Are you going to understand that kind of movie? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing, because that is one of the movies that you got to be focused 100%, right? So, mm -hmm. exactly. So, no way. And last but not least, thank you, Danny. What about, I think we're moving, we're missing work, right? <laughs> I think Jose needs to work with the work one. Jose, I think Jose disappeared for some reason. Or maybe he has a bad connection. Sometimes it happens, right, Danny? Danny had a bad connection as well. Okay, guys, for example, at work, what do you think uh, a rule for work? Mm -hmm. Think about your work guys what is something that you can do what is something that you are not allowed to do and something that you're obligated to do you have to be punctual you have to be punctual very good you have to be on time yes that is an obligation yeah. no matter what right hour, yeah. what else Elwin? Yeah. what do you say sorry i can i cannot hear you right now Go ahead and we repeat your idea, please. You had to be in the time. You had to be on time. Work. Very good. Exactly. Hey. Mm -hmm. Be late. Be late. Mm -hmm. You're right about you that. Know, uh, uh, you uh, cannot use your social uh, media, your you. Very good. You cannot you you cannot go to Facebook, Instagram, and, Netflix yeah. during Yours. your work hours, right? But what about on your break okay. time, on it's your lunch? Mm -hmm. Can you do it? Yeah, you yeah. can. You're allowed to, right? Yeah. But yeah. during your working hours, no way. What about no. guys? And can you get sick? Okay. You get sick. Yes, of course. Don't get sick every every payday, okay? Don't get sick any payday. That would be not a good idea. <laughs> if you get sick every payday or every week, no way. Nobody will believe you. But you can get sick, of course, right? We're humans. And yes. so what is something that you're obligated to do? You can take a rest. You can take a rest. That is a permission. Something that you're obligated to do, guys, you have to do your job, right? You have to take the you pills. Got, exactly. You have to do what they have been uh, hire you for, right? You have to give reports to your manager, to your supervisor. Okay. So, guys, keep on thinking about uh, more rules for, for your work as an area. And we're going to discuss that tomorrow, okay? Hey, you know what? Time passes really fast. Yeah. Wow, it's already time. Edwin, you can go and have your dinner. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. Ah, hi, Edwin. All right. <laughs> that means like he wants to go, right? Okay. Okay, guys. This is this is an obligation. It's an obligation. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. You have to cook. You have your, to cook. Uh, you have to eat. Hats and kisses. Right. Have a great night, guys. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.